Hello again, this is Robert Veach here, and this is my video review of the OPR UI brand, their PL1000 series LED grow light with sole diodes. And it's full spectrum LED grow light for indoor plant vegetation and blooming. Cover two by two foot area or greater. It's IP65 waterproof, so it will handle water jets at any angle. So you have to about splashes if you're planting with water. Now this has a uh, really nice rating on there of the micromoles per square meter. So it's approaching very close to the amount that the sun produces. And I'm glad that they give that measurement because that's an important measurement for grow lights. Now it comes with a really large instruction manual. I've never seen one this big in my entire life and has all support information. It's an American company on here, American website, and it just tells you everything you need to know about setting this up. This is the largest manual and the best written one I've ever seen for any grow light. So this company has 20 years experience in manufacturing grow lamps. They're among the best in the industry and the LED grow light is a new product we expanded in 2016. There are a whole series of grow lights. They're all produced by advanced equipment by this company and tested by professional laboratories. And that's why they give that actual rating. Now the Seoul Semiconductor, I did a search on that, uh, the Seoul company is in South Korea and they make some of the best LEDs that are used in automobiles and in grow lights. I was really happy to see that they use those light emitting diodes because that's a global uh, company that makes some of the best. They've got like 12,000 patents. So that means that these LEDs on here are very sophisticated, they're high quality, and they're very efficient. And that's what allows it to work. Now this only is gonna draw 100 watts it's about half the power of an HPS or other SMD LEDs or, or blur pole lamps, they call it, but yet it'll produce a high yield. Now the actual output of this is 1182 micromoles per meter square. And the sun is about 2000 micromoles at 12 o'clock on a perfect blue sky. So that means they're, they're kind of like, I don't know, 65% of the amount of the sun. And that's really good. Uh, a lot of lights don't even give you that spec because it would be much lower. So I'm impressed that they actually gave that measured spec. Now this will allow you to do a coverage of up to 3.3 feet by 3 feet and uh, flower coverage about 2.2 feet for flowers but veggie is 3.3. There's 240 pieces of those soul LEDs in there and it's a blend of full spectrum. It has 3000K warm, it's got 5000K natural white, 660 red, 7.30 infrared and that's how they're getting that nice balance that's going to help all the different stages of your plants. Now another thing about this is really nice is it's all smooth. I can't tell you how many roll lamps I've reviewed where I could practically shave my beard on the edges. This is polished and it's totally smooth. Nothing's catching on here. You can run your clothes across this and wouldn't grab any of your clothes. That's really nice. We're going to show you the whole top and bottom of this so that you get an idea of how really nice it is. Now this company will provide five years local after sales service and professional guidance. So you're covered. If you have any issues, they're going to help you with it. Just use the Amazon messaging system to get a response from them. Now this is a complete kit and it has the hanging straps, which are nicely covered in a black polyethylene. And we'll show how those work. Then it has two of these really nice adjustable. You pull this lever down like that, then allows this to go up and down. And what's nice about that is that you could adjust the plant height using these. And it comes with two of those. And it has the power cord, which has a USA plug on there with a safety ground. And then it has a barrel type connector, which is custom to this, that you're going to screw on to the light. Now let's take a look at this light because it's very impressive looking. If you look at it, again, I want to point out the smooth edges here. There's the information about it, the wattage, the company, the model number. Just really an attractive looking light with this orange painted section and everything is smooth on here. 
I just really like the way they did this. It has all the specifications on here of this. Now the hanging portion, where you're gonna hang this from using these included pieces, is from these corners right there. Also notice that there's no screws on this, which catch and cause problems. It has these nice plastic uh, mounted Titan screws on there holding this. Just a real beautiful unit. So here is where you're gonna play, where you're gonna apply the actual AC power to this. And it only goes in one way, just like that. And then it has this tightening. You could tighten these two ends right here and you could rotate this in the lock position like that. There's a little lock symbol right there that holds it right in place. Now here I have it powered up and this is bright. I can't even really put it into the camera lens because it might damage the sensor. But this is extremely bright and looks like really balanced light. Now we're going to let this thing sit here and we do some thermal measurements on it to see how well it does. This gives you an idea how bright it is. So there it is right there. And I'm two feet from my studio table and it's just totally lighting up the whole gray section of the table beautifully. Now one of the unique things about this product is the heat that comes off the base here is going to be dissipated by this big chunk of aluminum and they have an air gap here so that air can flow through here. So I feel some warmth here and no warmth here and no warmth here. So let's just take a look right here. So right on the actual LEDs, this is a surface measurement of 91.6 degrees. If I go to that orange section right there, it drops down to 79.3. And right on the heat sink of the electronics, it goes to 70. I've had this going for 20 minutes now. So this runs extremely cool, which is really what you want. That's how you're going to get all the life out of those soul LEDs on this unit. So here I have the light powered up and I have got it going through a kilowatt meter. And I have it on watts right there. And you see it's only drawing 105 watts. And that's the beauty of these LEDs is that it's producing, it's taking half or more less energy than a traditional bulb that you use for grow lights. There's proof right there, 105 watts. So you don't have to worry about running this thing 24 seven if you had to. So I wanted to show you how the straps get mounted on there. They just go in the corners, the four corners like that. And you can lift this in place using those pulleys that are included. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm using the PL1000 to grow some seedlings and I'm just going to do a little time lapse video to see how well it does. That's my little reference standard is to grow using some seedlings. So after testing out the OPPRUI brand, their PL1000 LED grow light with the Soul diodes, what is my overall opinion? I like this product. It seems to be really well constructed, has great heat dissipation. It looks really amazing and it grew my seedlings. I'm just impressed with it. I believe the specs that they give, the micromoles per meter squared, and this seems to be an excellent product with excellent support. So I'm going to give this product a full five-star rating. Please remember, hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you'll learn the new video uploads. And if you like this review, please hit the like button. I hope the information I presented helped you with all your buying decisions. Thanks for watching.